Most of you probably do not know that my mother started our real estate business or her real estate business back in 1987. I started working with her in 2002 and she and I worked together until about 2014 or 2016. I don't remember what year it was, but we worked a long time together. So my question for you, and it might not be something you want to give everybody all the details on, but what got you started in real estate in the first place? That's an easy question, necessity. I had recently been divorced. I had been in the, in the process of thinking about a career change, yeah. but never expected to have to do it so rapidly. Yeah. But for some reason, my three children still wanted to eat, <laughs> and they still wanted Not me. to wear clothes. Oh, no, never. Uh, still wanted to wear clothes, and they yep. wanted to do things, and that just required more money, and it required a very fluid schedule. Because I didn't want to lack, lack in being at the parents' activities. And as I thought through, what did I know the best? I knew Atlanta. Right. I had lived here since the World War II. Yes. Can you believe yes. that? Yes, I can believe it. Your family ago. moved here when you were like less than 10 years old. Oh, I think I was about three or four. Three or four, right. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yep. So you got started in the business out of necessity. You worked as an individual agent. Right. And then you really kind of were, were a maverick and you paved a path for what is now very accepted in real estate, which is to run a real estate team. So talk to us just a little bit about, you know, what made you decide that you had enough business or that it made sense for you to create a real estate team because the real estate team that you created really is still in existence today. It's called Modern Traditions Realty Group. So how, how did you how'd you get started with that? Because nobody did it back then. Well, the reason I really did it was because people told me I was too old, I was 48, and that I didn't know anything about real estate, and that I would be a failure. And you did it on your own for a while, um, and then you hired a few administrative people to help you, and then you started hiring buyer's agents, and you had administrative help and buyer's agents working with you when nobody else did that. That's very true. What made you decide that that was the thing to do? Because well, like, like you almost had to invent it yourself. Well, when you go to work at 6 in the morning and stay there till 10 at night, you know, you need some help. You needed some life balance. And the first assistant that I added, that freed my time, number one, to be with my kids a little more. That's right. And to get some rest, to have some fun, to actually even take some trips. That first year Mary Ellen worked with me, we doubled the team's income. Double the team's income. And the next year she was there, we tripled the team's income which allowed me to hire another assistant. Mm -hmm. uh, Ann Daniels, who uh, you know very well, who helps uh, write these radio shows. She's been with us now for 18 years. I love Ann. She thinks you are, and I agree, one of the best real estate salespeople that we have ever seen. And I just want to ask you, uh, do you feel like you had some of that skill set just sort of naturally or did you get in and really learn the business so you could be real really effective at listing homes and selling homes well the first thing i realized realized in real estate is i can't sell a house but i you can can't sell. personally like talk somebody into buying it i wouldn't yeah I wouldn't the house has to be the perfect piece of property in the right location with all the monetary needs that they need. Then I thought, well, I did this, I did it quickly, I did it with a, probably a higher price than what most realtors have been getting in that mm -hmm. one neighborhood. Maybe, maybe you were good at it. Maybe I was good at it. 